it's a bond that never goes away. They're a big part of us, you know, and you become real close when you're with them every day. I think of them as, as brothers. I want to make sure they get the proper training so they can go out there and, and you know, come home safely every night. Uh, they know when you're having a bad day and they don't rub it in. Um, they're there to make your day better. It's, it's a feeling that you don't get from any other job. I got your ball. I got it. Be friends? Be friends? Oh, hands over here. Hands over here. Oh. This is military working dog Nissen. Nissen was a dog like no other. Um, he always shined. Uh, he, it, it seemed like any time you looked at Nissen, he was smiling. There's just, there, there's no other dog like him. Nissen was a motivated dog. He deployed to Iraq, completed multiple narcotics interdiction operations with the OSI, and is credited with career narcotics fines that have resulted in the arrest of over 500 people. Just the way he is so excited to go to work, he's no matter what the mission is or what we need to do, he's always right there ready to get it done. But after 10 years of courageous service to the United States Air Force, his age was catching up to him. Nissen had a lot of extensive medical issues. He um, had a really bad case of hip dysplasia. Uh, he had some bad cataracts in his eyes. Uh, it's just the, the pain level that he was experiencing, just it, it did facilitate him being adopted out. It, it's something you never, you hope you never have to go through. It's a situation that you just, you know, kind of hope that's never going to happen.